everybody. Welcome back to the Here to See channel. Pastor Jerry Jacobson, another good one. Always focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Today, loving God for all you are, Luke chapter 10, 27. Listen. Hi there. Jerry Jacobson here tonight. Uh, last Is this August, the last day of August? Or is tomorrow the last, tomorrow's the last day of August? September's going to be here in a couple of days. Spring is going to spring in a couple of months. Time flies when you're having fun. God is moving by His Spirit. People's lives are being touched and changed. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk here tonight. Blair asked me to come in and and make another message and give another message. And I want to talk about loving God. You know, the scripture came down from 10 commandments to two commandments. And Jesus said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, and with all thy might, and then thy neighbor as thyself. Just think about that for a minute. Loving God with all you are. Loving God with all you are, and then loving your neighbor as the very best you can to get them saved so they can know this God that you know. So they can walk hand in hand with the creator of the universe. God has put you and me in such an enviable position that we are able to lead people to the creator of the universe and they become intimately related to him. Born again, in fact, born to be the child of God. And you and I have that privilege. I had, I had seven brothers and sisters. There were eight of us children in our family. And we were a, a very uh, national people. We were poor as Job's turkey. We didn't have much money, but we had a lot of spirit. And we were a crude and rough and really a, I don't want to say some of the things I'm thinking, so, but it kind of lets you know what we were, what we were like. But, but six of us went into the military. There were two in the Marines. There were four in the Army. I had a sister who was a whack. I had two brothers who were Marines. I had uh, three brothers, if I get this right, forget how many I had. And then I was a paratrooper in the 82nd Air War. And we were a patriotic family. When I was a little boy at five years old, I can remember that, that we would be in school and we would be a pledging allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And my mother had taught me to love that flag and I would cry when I pledged allegiance to the flag. And I've been there that way all my, I still do and I'm 87. And I still cry when I pledge allegiance to the flag. Why? Because that's the country God gave me to live in. That's the country God put me in to support. That's the country God put me in that I could teach people about him and get them to love him. He did that for me. He put me here. Why shouldn't I lie here? People say, America is this and America is And I said, you sure got that missed. I heard a guy the other day tell me he'd had two wives and, and he divorced them both because they were wrong. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> that was so funny. They were wrong, so I got rid of them because I'm right. Well... Uh, some of you aren't going to like what I'm saying, <laughs> but, but that was so funny to me, and I've laughed about that several times. Then I frowned at it a couple times, too. But I want you to know that God is someone that wants people to love him. At five years old, I would sit out to the river, and if my family was with me, I would sit there fishing, just waiting for that fish to come so I could catch him. And I would catch some just as a little boy. My brother and I were three, and we saw this guy had caught this big carp in Livermore, Iowa. This has been a long time ago, 84 years ago. And I remember that, 
big carp that he caught, it was as big as I was. And, and I thought I was pretty big. I was all of three years old. And my brother and I said, man, we could catch one of them if we could just get down to the river. He was four, literally. And me, and so we said, let's, get some, let's dig some worms and get a couple of hooks and a couple of lines and a couple of poles, and we'll go down and catch them. And so he, he, was, he was four and I was three. What did we do? We went down to the river. We went down to the river and we put our bait in the water and got a big bite and caught a big carp. And I was three years old. And God just gave me the desire of my heart. God has been trying to get me to know him all of my life. Just the same with you. Why do you have so many funny things that take place that you don't understand? It's because God wants you to think about him and get him to help you understand what you're going through. You aren't going to understand this thing unless you know Jesus. It just don't work without him. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me, he said. Just think about that. And God is working everything around you, working it around so that you'll change your heart and say, I want Jesus in my heart. I, I need him. I need the Lord as my Savior and Lord. So God is working that out for you. Have you ever thought about that? He cares about you that much. How much do you think he cared about you when he hung his son on the cross? So the blood that he would shed would wash your sins not cover them up, but wash them away. They would be gone, not to be remembered. God washed our sin from us. He loved us so much. I don't know. I, I just sat in here today and wanted to tell you about this and about my family being patriotic. And our patriotism to the country is the same thing I have in my heart toward God. He's my God. I was born because of God. I had parents because of God. I grew up because of God. And here I am. I'm going to go be with him forever and ever because he's God and he loves me. I get to go home for like I'm closer than you are. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you better be careful and get ready if you aren't ready. Well, I'm here tonight. Just I just come in and felt I wanted to say that God loves you. Remember that scripture I quoted? He said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. What else? All my might. And love your neighbor as yourself. Isn't that, doesn't that sound like quite a task? Well, I've been at it for 87 years. I haven't gotten there yet. I love him, but I know I could love him more if I would just spend more time in the Word and if I would just communicate more. I would love him more because communicating with our Heavenly Father through his Son, Jesus Christ, by the power of his Holy Spirit, makes us loving more. I believe the more this Word comes in, the more all that stuff that's in there that we don't like comes out. This is our bath. <laughs> and we get to take it every morning. We get up and we get to take a bath in the Word of God. And it washes us out so every day we look a little more like Jesus. Someday we'll be with him and we'll see him and we'll be just like him. Isn't that a wonderful message? I love you. I, I, I could sit here and talk for another hour. I don't need notes when I start talking about the Lord. It just flows out of me because God is so wonderful. There's nothing like God. And people miss him and don't receive him. And he wants to come into their lives. He wants to be your friend. He is your friend. You just haven't found it out yet. <laughs> so find it out today. Ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Ask him to walk with you every day by the Holy Spirit. Ask him to show you his word so that he can lead you to all truth and show you things to come. God loves you. So do I. See you next time. Bye-bye.